You have to have thick skin to get better. You have to call yourself out if you're fat and you're fucked up. And a lot of people don't want to go there. They don't want to talk about their childhood. They don't want to talk about their past. They want to get to the root of the problems and then they go, why am I not getting better? Because there's a lot of shit in there you haven't dealt with, brother. You know, people go to the gym. Like for instance, these people go to the gym, they get big, they get jacked, they can run fast, all that shit. But the only thing they're doing is they're coding over the mind. All you're doing is building a bigger, stronger quitter. Your mind hasn't gotten any stronger because you haven't gone back in there and dealt with shit. So the second adversity comes, like, my God, I'm so fucking fit. What's wrong? Your mind is still soft. This is a lifestyle. You can't temporarily dive into it, sample it out, and roll out. This is something, man, that you have to acquire as a part of your everyday life. If you want to be great, you want to be the baddest motherfucker ever at what you do, you can be misunderstood by everybody because you're going to be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. And that's what it takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. It is. But if you want to fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you fucking do, you, you've arrived. I mean, you are misunderstood to the point where fucking people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that. Why are you in the fucking gym at 1 o'clock in the fucking morning? You just got through doing an op for fucking 13, 14 hours after ranger school, man, at the gym. What's wrong? You will never understand what is wrong with me. And that's why I'm so fucking glad you don't. Because I'm in the right fucking spot. When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. People are like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? I don't want to talk to you, man, because you're not going to get it. This is a fucking lifestyle, man. And people wonder, why am I not achieving? It's because once you, what, all of us, once you achieve something, we celebrate for a long years, fucking time. You wonder, why do I have driving? Where's it all at? If you don't develop a routine of suffering, and suffering not like go out and kill yourself every day. It's being uncomfortable. That keeps you hungry every day. If you live in your victories for so long and say, I'm gonna go challenge myself for 30 days, for two weeks, or run this, run this one marathon. It is, I did one marathon. Okay? That's why it leaves you. It leaves you because you have to set up the next obstacle. Obstacles is how you grow. You must continue to have friction. Friction is where growth is at. No friction, there's no growth. I became obsessed. I became obsessed with being the baddest motherfucker that God ever created. Am I that? I don't care. I believe it. Once you become obsessed with something, obsessed, it's okay to be unbalanced for a while. It's okay. Don't be all this stuff. People say, you got to be balanced. To be the best in the world at what you do. It's not about being a Navy SEAL, people. The best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. Then you get balanced once you become great. And then you help other people become better from you being the best in the world. I'm trying to be the best I can to give you the best that I am. And it takes being fucking obsessed to where people think you're crazy. Become obsessed with being great. It changes everything. It's so easy to, you know, to, to be great nowadays because everybody else is, most people are, are weak. This, this is a softened generation. So if you have any mental toughness, any, any ability, if you have any fraction of self-discipline, the ability to not want to do it, but still do it. People have a, a, a hard thing to understand. I hate to run. And, and, and what makes me so crazy, it doesn't even more. Well, 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 why do you run if you hate it? What are you talking about? I don't want to take showers and eat either. I hate that too. The, the whole, that's life, man. That, and and, and, and it, 
It wasn't until I changed that mentality that I became somebody. I hated going to school, so guess what? I was dumb as shit. That's what, well, one plus one is two. But if you can get through to doing things that you hate to do, on the other side is greatness. That's what people are saying. By me running, I am callous in my mind. I'm not training for a race. I'm training for life. I'm training for the time when I get that two o'clock in the morning call that my mom is dead or something happened tragic in life. I don't fall apart. I'm training my mind and my body and my spirit so it's all one so I can handle what life is going to throw at Because the life I've lived, it throws a whole bunch at you. And if you're not physically and mentally prepared for that, you're just going to come and you're going to know why. If I don't give you all of me, why the hell am I here? Why? How will you learn from me? People take so much offense to me. You will never learn from people if you always tap dance around me. You tap dance around the truth by finding the right words so I don't hurt you because you have thin skin. No. Tighten up, people. It's okay. Trust me. It's okay. You might be called nigger one day. It's okay. You might be called some Jewish word or some faggot or gay word. It's okay. Let them call you that. What are you going to do now? They don't own your life. How are you going to control that now? How are you going to flip it upside down and say, Roger that, now I'm going to harness this shit and you'll read about me years from now? How? That's the question. How are you going to do that? Thicken your skin. Become more of a human being. Don't be afraid of the reflection in the mirror because that's all you can be afraid of. Once you overcome the reflection in the mirror, you've done it.